Are you watching Sarah TV? TV? I say a massive thank you to every single member of Sonar TV here today or not because the thing we're doing on TV is that it's not just one person, it takes a massive crew and we have a brilliant, brilliant group of people and hopefully next year's going to be even better. This year at Sonar TV, we've attempted to bring our station up a notch. In previous years, we've never had a big presence on campus, but this year, things changed. Over the next few minutes, we're going to show you some of the best and most challenging terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Why's that? I hate Southampton. Moments of the past 12 months. This is Sonar TV. Precious Fortnite, a staple of every student's university experience. Filled to the brim with activities such as Freshers Fair, Freshers Rave and Freshers Ball, it's not one to miss. This year Sonar TV pushed the bar and were on hand to capture the moment for every single Freshers event and more. Starting with an exclusive live announcement of the Freshers events all the way to a weekly catch up program called The Hangover Show. There was very little left unfilmed. With over 60 membership sign-ups following Freshers' Fair, it was time to get to work. The partying couldn't last forever, as it was time to create some content. Unless you were living under a rock, you should know that 2012 was a massive year for sport in Britain. Likewise, sport was a massive focus for Sonar TV. We not only had our studio sport show On The Ball, but we also created a series of videos for Sport Solent and even managed to get some Olympic related coverage such as an interview with Team GB volleyball player Dan Hunter. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of On The Ball with me Chris Nightingale and me Jake Jim. So it's been a while since our last show and a lot has happened since then. Yes, that's right. We've had cup wins, promotions, league wins, unbeaten seasons, and now Sonic's cricket season has begun. So, for our first feature, I took a little trip up to Chandler's Ford. So finally, the once-in-a-lifetime moment has arrived in Southampton. Yes, the Olympic torch is here and is due to be carried around the city by some of the city's most inspirational people. During the four-mile parade, it's going to be passing through Southampton St Mary Stadium during the Marcus Lieber Memorial Match. Uh, I'm Dan Hunter, I'm uh, the Great Britain Volleyball Libera, I uh, just competed in London 2012 and I'm here to do a volleyball session for Southampton uh, Volleyball Club. So 
we know the Olympics has been coming to London for over seven years. And here today is the Olympic torch at Mayflower Park. While we've never shied away from reporting local news before, several opportunities this year have allowed for us to be on the cutting edge of multiple large news stories. The first being Demo 2012, which saw students protesting again about education budget cuts. On the day, our station was one of the first outlets to publish video footage of a skirmish at Westminster. Another news story we've contributed to has been the recent Eastleigh by-elections, where our team have been interviewing candidates and sharing footage online. If we get anything like the momentum going that we got in Middlesbrough, Rotherham and Corby, given that we start in Eastleigh from a much higher level, uh, this could become a very interesting three or four way margin. But Middlesbrough and Corby, they're northern places, how do you think that you can relate to a southern audience? Uh, well, the accusation over the years has been that all UKIP appeals to are people in the south, not the north. So, you know, <coughs> I don't really buy that argument. Contributing to these national stories has been great exposure for our station and its members. But the biggest thing we've done this year was work on Nastavision, a music competition broadcast between all of the Nasta stations across the country. Music has always been a big part of our station, and this year has been no exception. One of our highlights of 2012 was attending music festivals Blissfields and Nova Festival, where we captured the essence and atmosphere of these small festivals. So as you've seen, we've had a pretty diverse year. We're proud to think that our station has truly come into its stride over the past 12 months, producing top quality content on a regular basis, all while maintaining the ability to have fun. That's why we think we deserve to be the best broadcaster of 2013 and beyond. Thank you.